This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on creating clip speed changes in Apple Final Cut Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video, I'll show you how to create a fit to fill edit in the timeline. There's a special kind of speed change called a fit to fill edit, and this is where Final Cut calculates the speed change automatically. Here I have some pouring steel. This is a giant bucket filled with molten metal, pouring it into a vat like a Bethlehem steelworks kind of thing. That's just amazing. I would like to see a close-up of that molten steel falling. Well, I can't use the range tool. I have to work with a whole clip. So let's just do a cut here. Command B, go to the next marker and do another cut. And now I have a standalone clip. And let's fill that with um, what do I want to fill it with? That's, there we go. We'll fill it with a close-up. And notice that in this close-up shot, I've already marked an in and an out. A fit-to-fill edit requires a, a single clip in the timeline, a selected clip in the timeline. It requires an in and out for a clip in the browser. Grab the clip in the browser and drag it on top of that standalone clip and wait for a second and a menu appears and select replace with retime to fit. And when I do, notice it takes that clip, changes its duration slower or faster so it exactly fits the duration of the clip in the timeline. It slowed it one to one third normal speed. And now when we play it back, we see the wide shot cut into the tight shot of a slow motion of that molten metal flowing into the, the hopper and then boom, we're back to the wide shot playing at normal speed again. A fit to fill edit always changes the duration of the clip coming in from the browser to match the duration of the clip it's replacing in the timeline. It requires a standalone clip in the timeline and an in and out in a clip in the browser. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on creating clip speed changes in Apple Final Cut Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 348. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.